Hi guys, it's Chrissy and welcome back to another Sims 4 speed build. So today we're actually going to be building a community lot. Now this is for Brightchester because it is for my rebuild Brightchester project for my save file. So this is actually on the lot that Pepper's Pub used to be on. And it's still technically a pub, I mean, or a bar, I guess, in the game. It still functions as a bar, but I added a little extra bit to the side of it because I wanted to make it look like... Kind of like a little bit of a, like, I guess townhouses, but converted townhouses, I guess, or at least in that style. So, yeah, it's kind of a two-part thing. So, the one side of it, the right side, the bigger one, is actually still a bar in the game. It still functions completely fine as a bar. And then the other side of it, the like, little bit smaller, a little bit more modern side, is actually a little restaurant slash bistro type thing that I decided to add onto it. So it does fulfill all of the like requirements for a restaurant if you wanted to run it as one. In the game you can go in and you can change the lot type and it will function perfectly fine as either a bar or a restaurant. And yeah, I uploaded two versions of it to the gallery because I wanted it to function as two separate things if you know you wanted to. So Basically, I have a version on the gallery that's uploaded as a bar lot type. I think I called it like Pepper's Pub Bar, I guess. I think that's what I called it. But anyway, there's a bar version up on the gallery and then there's another version up on the gallery that I called, I think, Pepper's Bistro or something. But yeah, it's basically a restaurant. So the restaurant version actually has a custom menu that I set for it and... I changed all of the outfits for like the servers and the host and all of that stuff. So that's totally set up. You don't have to worry about that. But yeah, I did that for the restaurant and then obviously the bar is just a bar. But you can have it function as either, like I said. So I did have a little bit of a story in mind for this build. So I know you can't technically own bar lots. But you can own restaurants with your sims. And honestly, I wanted to have my sims own this. But I still wanted it to function as a bar. I think a bar is just a little bit more... Not useful, because I tend to use restaurants more in my personal game. But because it is in Brightchester, I did want it to still function as a bar. Because that's what they had here originally. And I did think that it does make sense. To have a bar lot in Brightchester for the students and all of that to come and visit. So yeah, in my save file it'll still function as a bar. It'll be set up as a bar. But I guess in my head I have the storyline that the Potts family actually own this lot. So I mean if you end up downloading this lot and the family that I did create to go along with it. I will put a picture up on the screen of the family in case you guys want to go to my library to my like gallery and download them but I'll also leave a link down below with the build download I'll have a link to the gallery website in case you want to download them that way but basically the family that I had in my head that would own this would be the Potts family so we have Pat and Pepper Potts <laughs> and basically I had a little bit of a story in mind for them so Pepper actually runs her own like home business her own home crafting business she knits she paints she you know does flower arranging and all of that stuff so that's what she does and she works from home obviously and then pat actually used to be i, th I think he used to be like a maybe a chef or something because he's really into food so maybe he used to be a chef and he's recently retired and they've always lived in brightchester and he's always wanted to own his own restaurant and his own like bar and all of that. And he's always loved Pepper's Pub that used to be here. And he decided to buy it. So he bought Pepper's Pub when he retired. And he decided to renovate it a little bit. So the pub area, the pub part of this build is basically still the original like it used to be before Pat bought it. But he decided to renovate the building next to it and turn that into a bistro because like I said he's really into food and he really wanted some place like that in Brightchester close to where they live and all of that so yeah that's what he decided to do with this lot. And I will actually be building a house for these sims as well at some point and they're actually going to be living on the same lot as the Elderberry family. 
So honestly, that's kind of annoying, the fact that you have to... The fact that you can't have two separate families living on one lot, even if you build like two separate homes, if that makes sense. But basically, I'm going to have them live with the elderberry family. They're going to be in like the same household, technically. But I'm going to be building two separate townhouses on the elderberry lot, like on their lot. So I'm going to be t building two separate townhouses on that lot and setting it up so that, you know, they can't enter each other's houses and all of that stuff. But yeah, I'll do that for the save file. And if you guys want to play with just this family, then you can obviously just move out the elderberries and you don't have to play with them. But if you want to play with them, you can just move out this family, if that makes sense. So yeah, I was thinking about doing it that way just because... I don't want to delete the elderberry family because they did come with, you know, university, with Discover University. And I don't really like completely deleting families that came with specific, like, worlds. I do try and keep them either in that same world or in a world in my save file that I think would make sense for them. But I think so far, I think I've kept most of the families, like, in the same world if not on the same lot i might move around the lot a little bit you know for example i think i moved the munches that used to live in windenburg they do still live in windenburg i think i just moved them to a totally different lot because i wanted to use their original lot for something else so i might do that but i don't really like just deleting families I mean, if you guys don't want the family in, like, your saves, then obviously just go ahead and delete them. If you want to have your own sims living there or whatever, but, yeah, I just, I don't want to make that decision for you guys, if that makes sense. But, yeah, here we're just working on the bathroom. So, I did add a, like, basement level to this build. So, the basement level is accessible from both the bistro, from the back of the bistro, from like the exterior of the build and also from the inside and the bar also has access to the basement because the bathrooms are in the basement so yeah both of these like businesses share the same public restroom area and then obviously downstairs we also have the kitchen for the bistro part and then the bar part of this build the bar building is actually three stories but i only end up using two of them the top, like the third floor, I just end up putting a bunch of curtains over the windows so you can't see into it from the outside. But you guys can turn that into whatever you want, honestly. I don't really care if you want to renovate this a little bit. Just please don't re-upload it to the gallery and claim it as your own, obviously, because that's just not nice to do that. But yeah, if you want to renovate it for your own game, then go right ahead. But yeah, if you want to have like an apartment on the third floor or maybe you want to expand the bar a little bit because it isn't all that big on the inside because I did end up having this really big like mezzanine level type thing. So yeah, it's not super big. <laughs> so yeah, I didn't end up fitting in everything that I wanted and that's a little bit annoying but there's nothing I can do about it unless I wanted to use like the third floor as well which honestly... I didn't. That's just too big going from the perspective of I don't like playing in builds that are like three stories tall. I find it really annoying, especially community lots, because I will end up going somewhere with my sims and their friends and then I'll lose half of the group because they'll be on like the third floor and I'm looking for them everywhere. That's just really annoying to me. So yeah, I decided to keep it to just two. But the bistro is also two floors and it also has a little like overlook mezzanine type thing. So yeah, I really like the way this build turned out. But if you guys just heard a really loud like noise, it just started thundering. <laughs> I mean, it's been raining all night anyway, but it literally I just saw lightning from my window and then a huge like clap of thunder so i don't know if my mic picks it up or not i could hear it through my headphones through the music that i'm listening to so yeah it's pr the mic probably picked it up and i'm really sorry if it did but yeah i just i can't record this voiceover at any other point so yeah you guys will just have to like deal with the thunder hopefully it doesn't happen again because honestly i hate thunder 
it's uh, no i like rain i don't like thunder and i don't like lightning because that it, honestly it does scare me a little bit so yeah not great <laughs> But yeah, I can't really do this voiceover at another point because we'll, we, I won't be in at the house tomorrow, so I can't do it tomorrow, and yeah, and then it needs to go up the day after that, so that's great, doing a voiceover at 3am in the morning again, which honestly, that's kind of whenever when I do all my voiceovers anyway, so I don't know why I'm acting like it's such a big, like, change. <laughs> But yeah, we're just working on the little bistro area right now. I tried to make the bistro... Basically, with this lot, I kind of planned it out before I started building. I built the shell of it, just the general shape and kind of like the layout. And then I scrapped the whole thing and I built it again. So yeah, that's why at the beginning of this video, you guys will have seen that we started with the basement level already there. Because I didn't want to delete the basement. That was just annoying. So I just deleted everything up top and built it again. So yeah, this build took me like almost two hours to do. The like build that you're seeing. But before that, I probably spent like three hours figuring out all of it. So yeah, it took me quite a while. But I like the fact that the build co is coming together a little bit less chaotically than my builds normally tend to be if that makes sense but yeah so for this build i did have an idea in my head i started off with the idea of this bistro restaurant area being like this really old building but then it having this huge like glass wall with the with like the really big windows and the glass doors and stuff and the outside eating area so that's kind of the idea that inspired this whole build. <laughs> so I started off with that and then I just built on it and, you know, just expanded it a little bit. I also looked at a bunch of like reference pictures of old buildings and like old, more European style buildings. Obviously, this isn't completely accurate to what a lot of European buildings probably look like because a lot of it we just A, can't do in The Sims. Or I just didn't want to try and figure out how to do it. So yeah, it's not super accurate. But it's not meant to be super accurate. So yeah, there's that. But yeah, I really like the way this turned out. Like I said, I wanted the bistro area to... Or like bistro slash restaurant, whatever you want to call it. To be a little bit more modern than the next door bar. Because like I said, I thought Pat would have renovated this part of the building. So... Maybe this was originally part of the bar, but it wasn't getting used. Maybe it was used as storage or like a really old, I don't know, like a really old building that just wasn't getting used at all. And he went in and he added obviously the big modern windows and the flooring and he basically renovated the whole thing. And I really like that idea. I really like the way that turned out and having like this contrast of the more like warmer woods and stones and stuff of the bar compared to the like really stark black and white and gray modern of the restaurant. I really love the way that turned out. But yeah, here we're working on the bar area and I it took me forever. I spent forever trying to figure out where to place this bar because I wanted to use the one that came with Discover University, which is that one with the like little top I guess cabinetry bit so I wanted to use that bar specifically and obviously because it's me I have to have all of the wood tones <laughs> match so even though it's probably not realistic the bar probably wouldn't match the door and the floor and the walls in my head they need to match so <laughs> Yeah, it took me forever to a find like wood tones and everything to get everything matching and then also it took me forever to try and figure out where to place that bar because i do have obviously the really big staircase leading up to this mezzanine level and i couldn't really move the staircase without it being super awkward so i had to like fiddle around with the bar a little bit but i kind of like the way it turned out it's kind of out of the way and your sims still have a lot of space to move around in and all of that which is really important in community lots 
So yeah, I really like the way the downstairs turned out and then the upstairs is a little bit more cramped but I thought it would be a little bit more of an more of an intimate gathering area with the TV and the ping pong table and stuff like that. So yeah, we have the TV upstairs and then we have the jukebox downstairs. So downstairs your sims can listen to music and play darts and then upstairs they can watch TV and play ping pong. I really hate the fact that you have to have a TV on a bar lot, by the way. That's so annoying. I think it's more, it's supposed to be kind of like American sports bar type thing, I think. I think that's kind of what they based it on. But it's still really annoying because not, I don't want to have a TV on all of my bar lots. It just, it's annoying. Sometimes it just doesn't make sense to have it. But anyway, I digress. That doesn't really matter right now. But yeah, I hope you guys like how this build turned out. We're almost done with it. So yeah, I hope you like how it turned out. If you want to download it, it is up on the gallery. It's up on the gallery, like I said, completely CC free. There's two versions of it. They're both completely identical. They're like exactly the same, except for the fact that the restaurant one has a menu and outfits for your servers and stuff already set up. And basically just the lot type is different, but nothing of the build itself is different. So you don't need to download both if you don't want to use it as both. But yeah, so it is up on the gallery. It's up on the gallery under hashtag rebuild Brightchester. You can also find it by searching for hashtag ChrissyYT. Or you can just go to my gallery ID or to my gallery page, which is ChrissyYT as well. And I'll have all of that listed down below in the description for you if you want to like read it, if you're not sure about the spelling or anything like that. So yeah, it will be there. And I'll also have down below a download link like to the gallery website for both the bar version, the restaurant version, as well as for the sims that I told you guys about. So yeah, I don't normally upload the sims before I do their houses, but for this one, because it is technically tied into their storyline, I thought I might as well upload them. But yeah, I really like the way they turned out as well. You guys will still be able to see them on the screen if I remember to edit that in. <laughs> but yeah, you guys should be able to still see them on the screen. And I really like the way they turned out. They, especially Pat, he gives me a very almost hipster kind of vibe, I guess. And I did think that they would be completely childless. They wouldn't have any children or grandchildren or anything like that. So they're really kind of... An, kind of like an idea I had in my head of these like cool elders living in Brightchester and they spend a lot of time with the students and all of that stuff so I really like the way they turned out as well but I hope you guys like this build if you did give the video a like and if you're new to the channel and you'd like to see some more sims content feel free to hit the subscribe button and remember to turn on the notification bell as well to be notified of whenever I upload a new video but yeah, that's basically everything. I hope you all have an absolutely amazing, amazing week. And I will talk to you guys all on Thursday for my next video. Bye, everyone.